Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is Sachin Malyala. In this particular video, I am going to discuss about marks versus percentile versus all India ranks versus category ranks. As far as I know, so this will be the first and foremost video which discuss each and everything related to percentile, all India ranks and category ranks estimation for all of you guys. So let it be your JMS 2021 aspirant, JE 2022 aspirant or 2023 aspirant. Must watch video. This is one of the must watch video for you. So don't skip the video till the end. Watch it from first second to last second. So you'll get all the data and you'll get all your approximation. Based on that, you can fix your targets. Okay. Without taking much time, let's get into the video. Usually I get a lot of comments and DMs regarding Baya with this percentile, what will be our rank, what, uh, what can we expect from NIT or IIT, which branch, which NIT. So you can all clear all your doubts using this particular application. Register now for free using the link in the description of this application called Career Kick Services or else you can install this application from the Play Store also. Just nothing, a simple process, open this application. So after installing, just open this application, go to feature, you can see Air Rank Predictor. Enter your percentile. I am entering 97.8. Then predict air. The predicted air rank is 26,400. Now come back. So coming back, you can see college predictor, engineering colleges, JE main and advanced. So uh, after opening here, what is my rank? 26,400, right? 26,400. What is your category? I give EWS. Uh, I, I give only NIT. Okay. So based on your wish, you can select this other state quota, and you can give your other. So which round you want to select? So I said selected round 6, show. So you can see all these colleges are available on my rank with my category. So this is how you can predict your college based on your percentiles. So without taking much time, install this particular application and use it. So you can easily find out what colleges you can get with your percentile. So and also don't forget to give 5 star rating to the application. So the main topic which you are going to discuss on this particular video as you already seen the thumbnail and the title is marks versus percentile versus ranks. So ranks will like all India ranks and category ranks. I will show you AWS, OBC, SC, ST ranks. Everything I will be showing you in this particular video. So before starting the video a small disclaimer please don't blindly go with the data I am showing in the video because trend may change every year. So I am giving you some of the approximations which you can set for your targets but don't blindly fix for it. So don't say that Saicharam bro said this many marks we will get this percentile for sure. It is nothing like that. So I am just giving you the previous trends. Okay. So you can just keep it as an approximate target for you. Okay. Now I request you to approximate the data shown plus or minus 15 marks and plus or minus 1k or India ranks and so on. So now what exactly percentile is? Why they introduce this percentile? So before J JE normalization there used to be only one slot for offline exam and everyone used to score and based on the marks they scored that ranks were distributed. So if you can see from session to session the paper level may vary. So judging students based on the marks they get in different papers is not correct. That is the reason they have introduced this particular thing called percentile. So you can see before understanding JE main it is important to understand why it is so normalization helps in equalizing the difficulty level of the exam conducted in multiple sessions on the scheduled dates. The JE main percentile score obtained by candidate is, is determined only after applying normalization to the marks and obtained by JE marks percentile indicates the percentage of candidates who, uh, who have scored equal to or below that percentile in the examination. So I will explain how that is calculated with a small example. A percentile is measured on a scale of 100 to 0 for each session on exam. Every slot they will calculate the percentile and then they will merge everything. So I will ex explain you with an example. After compiling the raw marks, NT applies the normalization formula to the percentile goes to the candidate for each. Maths, for maths they will do, for physics they will do, for chemistry they will do as well as the total. The highest score of each session will get the same percentile. 100 which is ideal. So as I already said that the percentile score has been used for preparation of the JE main merit list and the percentile scores will be calculated up to 7 decimal points so that there won't be uh, less tiebreakers. So what happens when tiebreaker comes I will explain you as we move forward in this video. Now let me uh, like explain you with some example. So the three members scored highest marks here and here the highest marks is 95 and these three people and this particular 95 student will have the same percentile that is 100. So how you can say that is 100 is so what is the formula for percentile so percentile is equals to number of students so less than or equal to equal to or less than your score score by total students participated in that slot into 100 
total in slot into 100 for example if you take for this particular student so how many students are equal to his score and uh, below his score so you have to include him also so total as he is the top scorer so uh, 10, 10 by 10 into 100 so how much is percentile 100 percent so here uh, how many people scored equal to or less than you can include or you should also include him so 1 2 3 4 5 so 5 by 5 into 100 so how much is his percentile 100 so like this how, how many students scored equal to him or less than him so you should also include him right so total 10 again 10 by 10 into 100 so that is 100 percentile so for this particular student so what will be the percentile so how many students so you should in, um, so you should take out these people so has they are highest to him so other people for this 75 score 1 2 3 4 5 5 by so total members 10 into 100 so this is just an approximation so students will be more right so 50 percentile so now what happens when there is a tie break just see so when there is a tie break if they say candidate obtaining higher percentile in maths will be ranked so out of these four students so th those who got highest in all the things so they will see who got highest percentile in maths so if he like if uh, we will say if 95 95 scored student got highest in mathematics so he will be given top rank so the next next three will be they will check next three so the one who scored highest in this next three will give will give in the second then the third then the fourth so if, if there is a chance that still the maths will be equal at that time they will calculate the they will see the physics then if that is also equal then they will go with the chemistry so if that is also equal the older the age so those whose age is high they will give give in the preference so this is what percentile and this is how they uh, clear the tie breaks so this is what tie break guidelines now coming to the cutoffs so this will be the you can take it as a safe scores for you guys so category wise cutoffs are mentioned here so 2019 and 2020 i am taking into data so if you see general category 2019 89.7548849 and uh, category cutoff for 2020 is 90.3765 so what you can say is so what will be the safe score for a student to qualify for iit advance so i can say so best of these two you can best of these two you can say uh, 90 90.3 cutoff will be the safe score for qualifying to advance for a general category student in all india open rank open category so this is how you can keep these safe scores so based on that you can prepare yourself now coming to percentile versus marks so this is the data so don't take it directly i'm saying don't take it blindly so you can use this as an approximation so for moderate level paper for all shift those who scored 285 to 295 or above that they got 99.99 percentile and above 270 plus marks 99.9 percentile for moderate level and 99.5 for so you can see check all this you can pause the video and check all this or I take a screenshot of this particular data so one more data you can take the screenshot so this is uh, somewhere like I have explained till 0 to 10 marks also you can take the screenshot here so I am giving you some time so you can use this as some example so you can approximate based on this so this one and this one so two screenshots you can take who is your rank calculator from the percentile so based on as i said using the tie breakers and those who scored highest so based on that they will distribute the ranks so now i will show you the rank list so you can take the screenshot of this particular thing those who scored 100 to 99.999 they can get 1 to 20 rank so you can see we will take 99.79250 89.845211 so this is one so what i can say is from 90 or like from 100 to 99 so you can find easily 9000 to 10000 students 9k to 10k students so those who get 98 so you will easily get maybe your rank will be easily 20k near to that because as i said approximation of 9k to 10k between 1% 100 to 99 10k and 99 to 98k another 10k so like that so those who score 90, uh, 90 percentile so their rank will be above 1 lakh for sure 1 lakh plus rank in open category now this is one more screenshot you can take this screenshot also okay now the main thing percentile versus all india ranks versus category ranks so this is most weighted thing and required thing so i think no one has still date no one has given you this data so this will really help you guys so please do share this video with all your friends so percentile versus ranks versus category ranks you can see here if you score 99.99 to 100 so crl rank would be 600 ews is 50 obc is 100 scst will be 1010 and one more important thing so this may vary here and there because 
for example out of 10 students who got very top score so every year we can't say only general students will be there in the top 10 students there may be total st students there may be total obc students there may be total general students it is just an approximation you need to understand the what i am what what i wanted to say so you can say out of 100 students for example in 2020 60 are general 10 are sc 10 are st so sc 10 st 10 general this one and the 20 are obc so this is in 2020 there is no such rules that every year that same data should they same number of students should be there in the top 100 right so next year may like general students may be only 40 student obc means obc may like for 30 student so sc st 15 15 is so this may happen right so that is what i am saying so this is just a generalized data so that you need to understand so 99.7 to 99.9 so 3k 215 EWS, 300 OBC, SC50 and ST25. So now let me just talk about CRL ranks. All other ranks you can check yourself and take the screenshot. So 99.5 to 99.7, 5K rank. So 99.2 to 99.5, 7K, 7K rank. And uh, 99.99 to 99.2, 10K rank. 98 to 99, 20K rank. So your rank will be surely below 20k rank if you belongs to 98 to 99 category and if you get 97 to 98 31k so it is like this and this uh, next one is 96 to 97 44k 95 to 96 is 55k 93 to 95 is 75k crl and 91 to 93 is 95k crl 88 to 91 will be 1 lakh 20 thousand so as i said the approximation one percentile will be equals to 110k students so this based on this approximation so i have given this data Next, EIT to EIT 8, so is uh, 2 lakhs, below 2 lakhs rank you will be there and in the CRL. So now 60 to EIT, 4 lakhs and uh, percentile of 40 to 60 percentile, 6 lakhs. So this is what the, so you can compare EWS will be 4 lakhs means EITK EWS, 1.1 lakh OBC, 15k SC and 10k ST. So you can check all this data if you want to take the screenshot, you can also take this. So you can take this one and this one and this one so thanks for watching you can subscribe for more such kind of videos i hope you this video is very helpful for all of you guys if you find this as a time worthy video please do like share and subscribe see you in the next one until then take care bye bye Jai Hind.